Hey folks, it's JP Moco Woodsman out here in the beautiful hardwoods in North Mall County. It's uh, March 30th today, gorgeous day. We've had a lot of rain lately, crummy weather, cold. It's in the mid 50s right now, sun shining. So take it while we can get it. But uh, thought I'd uh, do a quick video today, showcase this Kibler Woods Woods Runner. That I recently uh, finished up maybe three weeks back now uh, ordered this as soon as it came available on pre-order last May end of May maybe the beginning of June last year 2022 and patiently all right so maybe not patiently but I waited and waited and waited and waited and uh, the kit finally showed up in between uh, Christmas and New Year's 2022 and super busy that time of year and <laughs> it sat there for about three weeks before i could even touch it to start working on it but uh once i did it didn't take long assembly super easy on these i mean the the fit on these is way what they do with the cnc machine and all that is, is amazing uh so i spent most of the time finishing it you know taking the time to, <clears throat> to try to uh get it looking good in my opinion so first off, like I said, it's a Kibler Woods Runner. It's uh, the 54 cal Green Mountain Barrel, Swamp Barrel. Really nice barrel. Uh, I don't think Green Mountain offers Swamp Barrels to anybody but Kibler. If I'm, if I'm mistaken there, which I may be, uh, let me know. But I don't think you can get a Green Mountain Swamp. I don't think you can get them through Track of the Wolf or anything like that. But anyways, regardless, it's a Green Mountain, and I love them barrels. I don't remember the twist rate right off the top of my head. I want to say 1 in 70. Uh, <clears throat> the stock is cherry, so I didn't go curly maple or fancy curly or anything like that. I wanted a, wanted a cherry stock. I really liked, liked the look of the cherry guns. Um, so that's what I went with. But man, this gun's beautiful, and it's fun to shoot. This is my second kit build. Uh, first kit build was this, the SMR from Kibler. Which I didn't do any carving on that one, but I did on this one. So I had practiced carving a little bit uh, before, you know, on some practice junk stocks that I got from a, from a guy. Uh, so I practiced a little carving and, and I did an okay job on this. I made a few mistakes, but uh, it was only the first one I've ever tried, so. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Sliding wood patch box, very nice. That cherry looks so good in the sun. I had a little bone black, which looks all right in some spots. I like it, like right in here on this molding. It turned out good. Um, there's some other spots that I don't think it looks as good, but that stuff's tricky to work with. They make it look easy on their video, but it's not. And then that was the extent of my carving. That little hole I dug out right there, that wasn't supposed to look like that, but you can't put it back once it comes out. So I just cleaned it up the best I could and went with it. First time, cherry. First time carving on anything, but let alone cherry. I found it to be a little, I found it to want to chip out easy in spots. But uh, what are you gonna do? Put a nice little acorn shape carving there. I think it turned out nice. Man, I love that cherry in the sun. So 
So, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. All right, folks, so I got a little trail walk set up out here, out in the woods. I got about 12 steel targets. A couple of them are down from just being out here all winter. Uh, but I got, got about 10 that are probably shootable. So I'm not gonna shoot them all. I just did this, just posted a quick little shoot video the other day. But I am gonna shoot a couple here on video. So, uh, real quick, I'm shooting uh, my horn. I have 2F Go X. Uh, I was getting kind of low and I was out of GoX so I threw in some shoots in today. So I got GoX shoots and mix in there is what it is. I'm not, not saying that's good or bad, but that's what I got. Shoots in GoX 2F mix. Uh, I got this new pouch I picked up a couple weeks back. Uh, Jim Kern, I spotted it on Facebook. Jim Kern out of Minnesota threw it out there on a handful of the muzzleloader pages and stuff that I follow on Facebook and uh, it was a good price so I snagged it and I like it it's perfect uh, I took this horn that I've had for 20 plus years one of my mentors in this lifestyle made uh, Roy Hoobler made this horn and I've had it for about 20 years 20 plus years now and uh, I finally found a pouch and a gun that I wanted to dedicate it to so it's attached to this pouch. When this pouch comes with me, this horn's coming with me. Uh, but yeah, great little pouch. So, for charge out of this, I haven't messed with it a whole lot, what, what this gun really likes, but I have found 65 to be pretty good. Uh, 65 grains, 2F. So, let's shoot it. Let's make it go boom. Uh, so that was about a, I think 55, 60 yard shot. I, I can't remember exact distance on what I range find that at last year when I set this target up, but somewhere around there. So good shot, good shot. Let's try this little iron ram. He's a little closer. I want to say 35. We'll see. So we got the uh, Iron Piggy next, and if you look, where is he? Way over there, that little orange dot. I hear a tree creaking and cracking down there in the bottom. About to go, it sounds like. Anyways, this one's shooting from back here. This is probably about 50, 45, 50, and uh, you got a good solid rest, so. Nothing to this one, nothing to it. The orange triangle's next. This is a fun one because if you miss, you hit the water and it goes and there's that tree cracking again. Well, it ain't swinging very much. I must have just nicked it. Well, this one's always fun. Call this one the donut. I shoot through that thing every time, right through the center. Right through the center every time. Well, here's the view of the next shot. This is exactly what I see when I look down the sights. You gotta shoot all between all them trees. That iron pig number two out there is about 50 yards away.
No sir, we did not get the iron pig number two that time. So this will be the last shot I'm gonna take down here today. Uh, the old Mr. Ducky on the other side of the creek over there, he's probably 65, 70-ish. We got a nice rest on this one, so shouldn't be an issue. The last couple misses, I don't know. It's definitely me, ain't the gun. You know what it is, it's that damn shoot some powder. We're gonna edit all this out probably. Could be that darn shoots and powder. <laughs> really, not a lot of uh, experience with shoots and. You know, I shot GoX my entire life. Only bought this last year because the GoX 2F was a little hard to find. Could be. Rifle might need a uh, cleaned a little bit. Could could use a cleaning patch or two ran downer. But I think we'll get this duck. Like I said this one's got a nice rest. Got a nice rest on this shot too, so let's see what we can do. Just kidding about the shoots. I'm not trying to talk, talk any smack. But uh, I think I am probably gonna clean this gun and go watch this tree fall down. Uh, and not embarrass myself any further because these last handful of shots, these last two or three shots have not been that great. Oh well, it's all for fun, so. I'll give you a proper outro here in a second. All right, folks, I'm gonna sign off, get on out of here, keep moving through these woods, look for an antler or two, see what we can't see. Still got a couple hours of daylight left, and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful one. Until next time, take it easy, folks. Thanks for watching.